Hey friends, so it has come to my attention that some of you may or may not be interested in this little rat's nest contraption I've been procuring over the past couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, this is basically my ultimate everyday carry for general maintenance, apartment maintenance, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, it's everything that I need on a daily basis, so uh, let's give you the tour, shall we? Um, yeah, starting up at the top, we've got the Wera um, T-handle screwdriver. Um, why I picked this one up specifically is because there's a nice big hole right there that I can sort of attach everything to here. Um, I actually ordered the wrong one. I've got the uh, ratcheting version coming in the mail, but you know, you get the idea. Um, anyways, uh, this one also comes with this nice um, locking um, mechanism. So even if you if you were to pull try to pull this out, you can't um, unless you slide that forward first, and then it just pops right out. Um, what's cool about this is this is a Klein bit driver. Um, which is pretty neat because it has every type of bit um, drive that you could possibly need. For example, um, you need you know quarter inch. You just pop that off, pop this off the top, uh, get this on the end, and then yeah, you can just pop that right into your screwdriver, and you're good to go. Um, easy as pie. Um, everything here is sort of on carabiner, so it can be easily detached and stuff. So, you know, if I don't want to get bogged down by all of that while I'm, you know, doing lots of screwing, I can just kind of pop this out, and uh, this is the little screwdriver setup. Um, on it, I've got um, a smart key for uh, changing locks. I've also got the magical uh, Allen key that just seems to fit everything. Um, I also have, um, you know, every kind of bit that I use just on a daily basis uh, right here, just ready to go. Um, these are really cool. They're little keychain bit holders that uh, um, you can just, you know, pop out the bit, pop it back in. Um, super easy and convenient. Um, but yeah, moving on. Um, so everything kind of clips onto the screwdriver like so. Um, Starting here, we've got a tape measure. It's a little Milwaukee one. Oh no, don't, don't leave me. Don't leave me quarter in. Okay, never mind. Um, anyways, we've got a little uh, Milwaukee um, uh, tape measure here that goes up to six feet, which for me is, you know, plenty. I'm never gonna, almost never gonna need more than that. And if I do, I can mark whatever it is and then 12 feet will be good, you know? <laughs> um, but moving on. Um, so easily accessible down here is probably my favorite addition to my uh, tool bag lately, which has been these little um, Knipex um, Cobra XS uh, um, channel locks or whatever you want to call them. Um, but yeah, these things are great. I love that you can just slide them, use them with one hand. Um, the reason why uh, these are good to have over something like a crescent wrench or something is because um, these are good for things that are maybe not just, you know, hexagonal, um, you know, nut shaped, right? Like, for example, like water lines, pipes, stuff like that that are round that you may still need to tighten down. These are great for gripping onto those and, and uh, yeah. So um, for plumbing, you know, pair of channel locks, super, super necessary. So why not get the smallest ones available? Uh, moving on, uh, the rest of my um, tools are sort of on this little carabiner right here, um, which makes it pretty easy to access. Uh, so if I pop this guy out, this is a little uh, box cutter utility knife. Um, I love these things. You can just beat them up, uh, replace the blade for a couple cents when it breaks or rusts or whatever. Um, I love this thing. Um, it's got a little flat head on it, good for like scraping or prying. Um, and it's also got a little Phillips there just in case I need it. I don't know why I would, but yeah, pretty neat. And also it's black, which is a plus. Uh, moving on, uh, we also have a little Night Eyes um, uh, pen, which is pretty cool. You can just unscrew this guy and it pops out. Um, and then 
Yeah, if you would like, you can have it in this little pen configuration, or you can unscrew this top and put it together, and it kind of forms like a regular sized big pen, which is super awesome. Um, moving on, we have something a little bit strange here, but we have some wire cutters. Um, I added this little uh, uh, electrical connector here. Um, just as a little safety mechanism because I actually cut myself while I had this in my pocket um, And I was kind of you know fiddling around in my pocket and I cut myself pretty bad So this is like, you know safety third kind of thing um, But this actually isn't for trimming nails at all. I mean clearly um, it's for um, wire stripping and uh, wire cutting which it's been doing great at um, because, you know, usually I'm not an electrician. I'm using, I'm dealing with super small um, copper wire, super small uh, wire that just, you know, cuts pretty easily. So this, I mean, it's been holding, it's been holding up great uh, so far. So, uh, yeah, love that. Uh, moving on, um, we have this, this, uh, the pouch sort of thing. Um, it holds the most uh, important thing of all. Music, yes, headphones, very important for long jobs or just, you know, if you're bored, you want to listen to a podcast, whatever. It's awesome. Uh, also in here, I've managed to fit something kind of interesting, which is a little light. Um, this thing I've kind of modified with some bolt cutters, uh, the American way. And uh, it's just a little tiny light that also happens to be magnetic. So if I want to clip it onto an appliance or something, I totally can. It's super duper bright. Um, and also it's got a little stand on the back if I need to stand it up on something and just have it lighten up whatever I'm working on. Uh, super necessary for electrical stuff because when you're doing electrical, you know, you, you shut off the power obviously and there's no power if you don't have any lights. Uh, wait, there's no lights if you don't have any power. Yeah, you get, you get it. Anyways, that's, uh, that's the whole setup, um, start to finish. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed.